Hey folks, what's up? It's Rob Dotson. Welcome back to the Progressive Web App Summit. We are just wrapping up day one. You can see we're setting up for the after party now. Uh, I'm here with Tal Oppenheimer. She is a product manager on the Chrome for Android team. Tal, you were just talking about uh, building for billions and making sure that businesses are really thinking about emerging markets. So I was wondering if you could just kind of kind of tell me, like, you know, why is it important for businesses to be considering these markets? What what is you know what should their their direction be there? Uh, what we've seen across the board when we're actually thinking about building experiences for everyone is if you actually want to reach as many people as you can, the growth that we're seeing in internet users is very much in emerging markets. And so when you look at internet users today, we actually see that the majority of internet users are in India and China, and the United States still has quite a bit. What's really remar remarkable is when you look at where the growth is coming from, it's primarily driven by places like India or places where people haven't had internet connection in the past. So we've actually seen over the past year in India that a population equivalent to about a third of the United States' entire population came online just in a single year in India. And there's still over 800 million users in India who don't have internet, internet access yet. So we expect that number to keep growing. And, and in these markets, I, I know probably a, a big deal is the, the network infrastructure, right? And, and it maybe being uh, not, so, not so great at times, maybe a little bit flaky. Can you just talk a little bit about that? Like what, what do developers need to have in their head when they're thinking about these network conditions? Yeah, absolutely. So there's probably two main points to think about when you're thinking about your network conditions for users who are coming online for the first time. Uh, the first is that the network conditions can be spotty and they can be slow. So we actually see that globally, uh, a metric from 2015 found that about 60% of cellular connections around the world are 2G connections. But in a lot of these areas where people are coming online for the first time, we see this closer to two thirds or 66% of all connections are 2G. And that's ignoring 2G like speeds, which is actually a much bigger portion of connection types. Uh, so the speed can actually have a really big impact on how long users have to wait to even get to your experience in the first place. Uh, and the second big thing to keep in mind is the cost. A lot of the users in these areas are relying solely on cellular connections on their phone to access the internet. And the, that means that they're paying for the data. Uh, quite regularly for all of their internet access. And in a lot of these areas, data can be incredibly expensive. So in India, for example, if you look at minimum wage in conjunction with how much a uh, 500 megabyte data plan costs, uh, a user would have to work about 17 hours on minimum wage just to afford 500 megabytes of data, uh, which is huge if you actually try to simplify that to web views or something. Uh, it gets the point of about um, just being a huge trade-off if a user is accessing your website they're not accessing something else, and they have to make those trade-offs pretty consistently. Yeah, absolutely, especially with sort of the sizes of, of web pages growing all the time, it seems, yeah. So, okay, so with that in mind, uh, how does a developer approach this problem? I mean, are there, are there tools, are there strategies? Like, how would I go about sort of reducing that, that, that payload size? Yeah, so there's a few things. The first is probably to just think about it, right? Take a walk through your experience and think, how many page loads am I making the user get to before they get something valuable? How big is each of those page loads? Actually, on Chrome DevTools, you can see on the network panel uh, exactly how many bytes are being transferred for every page load, both using cache and not using cache. And you can also simulate different connection speeds. So you can throttle your connection to, be, to simulate a 2G-like connection. So you can see how long users have to wait. And sometimes uh, it can be 11 seconds, which you might not expect if you're testing on, on your conditions. So the first step would absolutely be just to sort of test it out. Uh, and then beyond that, there's actually a whole lot of tools that you as a developer can use. You can use service workers to help a lot with speed, uh, not just for offline and sort of the extreme of the connection type, uh, but also to keep an eye out for sort of request timeouts if users are on really slow round trip times uh, to make sure that things are still loading as quickly as possible. Cool. And if there, if there's maybe like a good educational resource, some place where I can go to learn more about some of these things, do you have one of those uh, in mind? Yeah, absolutely. So we actually have a sort of Building for Billions website that uh, covers what you can, should think about when you're thinking about a global audience, and then the tools that we have. So that's just on sort of our developer tools uh, under Billions. Okay, right on. So we can include a, a link to that site down in the description. Uh, also, if you are interested in catching Tal's talk, uh, it is on the PWA. Uh, Progressive Web Apps Dev Summit playlist on our Chrome Developers YouTube channel. Go there, check out the playlist. Also, be sure to subscribe. Tal, thank you so much for, for chatting with us today. Uh, thank you all so much for sticking with us today. We're wrapping up day one, so I'll catch you here again tomorrow for day two of the Progressive Web Apps Summit live from Amsterdam. Thanks.